I'm working on measuring inductance in a very simple way and uh, this is a first experiment a concept idea about how to measure inductance and then especially in a very low inductance range you see some coils that I've made in the past they are all measured and for instance this coil has an extreme low inductance it's as far as I know 0 0.4 microhenry and it's very very difficult to measure such a small coil of course you can buy um, in the shop an inductance meter a black box connect your coils to it and measure the inductance but I'm always interested in uh, the more uh, theoretical questions and uh, home brew solutions to measure inductance. So I want to use to measure this inductance this oscillator and I've published this oscillator earlier in an earlier video that's why I started the video in this way it was this video approximately two weeks ago but now I've mounted here um, a fixed coil with a fixed inductance and that means that this oscillator generates a fixed frequency the key however to the inductance meter is this here is the coil with the fixed frequency uh, 120 picofarad and this coil, this one, parallel to a 120 picofarad capacitor that's here and from this coil we know the frequency but the key from this circuit is that we connect our unknown coil uh, in series with the known coil and we measure the um, deviation the different frequencies with a frequency counter and frequency counter is here so for this uh, way of measuring you need a frequency counter and of course you need to know uh, the um, properties from this coil on which frequency this whole circuit generates so I've used this coil it has quite a low frequency, 50 turns, animal wire, 0.4 millimeters on a plastic tube from kit and 120 picofarad capacitor in parallel. So this is the known coil and when we use only this coil, so we have here a shortcut we measure the frequency from this combination LC and it is approximately uh, 3, 4, 5 kilohertz this is by the way the formula that is uh, applicable to this situation and here is the known coil and here is the unknown coil and I've done some measurements for all the different uh, coils that I've showed here and this range goes from 0 0.4 microhenry that's this one to approximately 169 microhenry and this covers the whole all frequency band from the radio uh, approximately medium wave perhaps somewhat long wave to shortwave radio this for instance the frequency that can be reached with this coil goes up to 16 megahertz okay uh, here you see the table that I have uh, made by measuring the frequency when we put the unknown coil here in series with the known coil and then you see that 0 0.4 microhenry is 
0.08 kilohertz and the highest value 169 microhenry 254.474 kilohertz. So you can uh, derive from the frequency the inductance. So I measure this coil for instance now at the moment and I read 333 uh, kHz. I go to the table here and I see that this must be approximately 15 microhenry. And I found that it is real. So uh, there is a, of course a deviation, perhaps 10%, perhaps 20%, I don't know that exactly. But it is usable, the, the way of measuring uh, via this procedure is usable to get an indication from the inductance. Uh, I've chosen now 3, 4, 5 kilohertz for the oscillator frequency, but I'm sure uh, there could be a better uh, frequency on which you get a better spread from the frequencies in relation to the inductance. So these are a few tips. At first the calibration is possible via the working point from the transistor. I've seen that when I tune this potentiometer the frequency also changes. So my advice is to um, uh, replace the potentiometer by two fixed value resistors. Here two fixed value uh, resistors. Um, to get always a good waveform. This is the waveform at the moment. When I, I turn the potentiometer, you can see that the waveform gets pure. The idea is that the waveform must be as pure as possible. So, um, that was the, the first tip or the second. Search for an oscillator frequency with a better spread of the frequencies. I think that when the oscillator, this oscillator works on 1 MHz or so, or 2 MHz, you will have a better spread from the frequency, so a greater uh, variance here in the frequencies that you can read out, and that will give a more precise indication from the inductance. The coils the coils that you measure, the unknown coil and the fixed coil, must not couple. So this is a good situation, they have a certain distance to each other, but when I put for instance in here the coil, get too close, you will see that the frequency changes substantially and you, your measurement is not, not very good. So one coil horizontal, for instance, and one coil vertical, or take enough distance between these two coils. Uh, it's also possible to shield the, 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 the measuring coil. And the waveform must be as pure as possible. I have already showed that. Um, choose two fixed value resistors here instead of the potentiometer to get a fixed frequency. And in this case you can read out the uh, inductance in relation to the frequency. And this is the formula for that. Wish you luck.